हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर अ लेक्चर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट टूडेज टॉपिक इज बायोडाइवर्सिटी बायोडाइवर्सिटी इट मीन्स डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ लाइफ एवरीथिंग व्हिच इज लिविंग लाइक माइक्रोब्स प्लांट्स एनिमल्स ह्यूमन बीइंग्स दे आर इंक्लूडेड इन diversity biodiversity okay and biodiversity it is measured at three levels one is a genetic level another species level and thirdly ecological level so hierarchically there are three levels of biodiversity one is genetic diversity species diversity and ecological diversity i will start with genetic diversity how you can see the variety or the variation at genetic level it is firstly it is a variation only in a species at a species level for example in kashmir we have apples okay apple is a single species but within the species how many varieties are there there may be hundreds of varieties of apple so this variation or this these varieties this is known as genetic diversity clear we have a single species that is apple but within apple we have number of varieties so in other words you can say genetic diversity it is a major of variety in genetic information clear see in apple the varieties of apple they may have differences differences of alleles alleles i have already explained they are the different forms of gene are sometimes entire genes they are different and sometimes the chromosome structure they vary and even scientists they have found that in varieties of a species chromosome numbers they vary clear another example i will give you in genetic diversity we have a common plant in kashmir the medicinal plant which is known as hand tarsicum officinal it is a botanical name of hand okay the hand which is found at the ground or uh, i will say in the valley it is not the same which is found at the top top of the mountains although a species is same but inside the species the chemicals they vary okay the chemicals are known as active chemicals or phytochemicals the phytochemicals which will be in in that variety of tarsicum officinal which will be present at the top of mountain will be different than the ground species and this variation is due to the adaptation to environment and usually it has found that the species which are found in harsh conditions like at the top of mountains or in um, in colder regions they have higher medicinal properties clear and another information that i am going to give you is there are 50000 different species are uh, sorry different varieties are strains of rice and similarly in india we have 1000 varieties of mango i have i think you have properly understood diversity at genetic level now coming to the species diversity it refers to the variety of species within a region for example western ghats have greater bird species a diversity as compared to eastern ghats so when i discuss when i say species diversity what is important important is the region you have to mention the region because when you will mention the region it will be related with species diversity and lastly we have ecological diversity it is the variety of ecosystems which indicate diversity in number of 
habitats or needs tropical levels food webs nutrient cycles and other ecological processes clear simply ecological diversity it means variety of ecosystems for example india is a most diverse country okay biodiverse country because it has a number of ecosystems for example in india we have deserts we have rain forests we have mangroves mangroves are those forests which grow in marshy or salt water water okay like in oceans we have wetlands we have meadows so difference of variation in the ecosystem is also considered as ecological diversity it is a part of biodiversity coming to the global level so uh, globally we have 70000 sorry 70% are we uh, have animals and 30% are uh, are the other organisms 70 are animals and 30 are other organisms and in 30% 22% are plants okay clear and in animals 70% are insects coming to the other species fungi in fungi we have 72000 species and fishes we have 28000 species we have 4780 amphibians and almost 7000 reptiles and mammals they are 4650 dear students this figure is not constant okay it is varying each day because each day we are losing number of species and a at the same time new species are born because this is a part of evolution coming to our own country india india is having 2.4% of world's land but it is having 8.1% species diversity okay so imagine how diverse is our country india india is divided into 10 biogeographical regions already i have said you that in india we have deserts we have mountains we have oceans so these things are the biogeographical regions these locations and because of this diversity india is one of the 12 mega diverse countries of the world dear students at the end i will say something about my own homeland that is kashmir kashmir is highly diverse state or a region okay but unfortunately we have not worked as much as we have to do okay so there is a lot of scope to work to discover the species so i request to all of my students to give your contribution in biodiversity by saving some species and discovering some species by taking subject or by uh, studying biodiversity at higher level thank you for listening to this lecture in case you have any question you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com